you made it welcome back your solid soul here and today we have a lot to go over so uh, there is just going to be a shinto ton to talk about we're going to be talking about the warden skin peacekeepers buff Medjai's, uh testing grounds stuff you know just in general warden is also getting a slight buff or a slight rework with his kit so you'll see that in the footage in the background and a bunch of you know battle pass weapons etc etc and all of that good stuff so let's just get down into it as quickly as possible so right here we're gonna have the new legacy pass which is gonna be next week and you can pick one of the battle pass that you missed before and it will still continue on whatever X xp you had it on at last so if you missed some weapons or executions or effects that you wanted now you can get it back really awesome really stoked for it as you can see here the warden hero skin is coming out um, March 14th, Testing Grounds is also coming out the next week afterwards, Hero Fest, and of course we have some events. And the next title update, which is going to be on the April 25th, we're going to get a new Hero Skin. I think that one is going to be the Outlanders one. Well, we'll see what happens. And then we have the new map that is coming out, the Cathedral, uh, for April 25th. So that one is so awesome. They're going to re rework that one, and it's going to be mostly about the same. They're probably going to remove some of the ledge aspects of it, some of the cheese stuff. But overall, I'm really stoked for this Cathedral map. New armor variations for the knights and also for the vikings too thank god they need it uh throwback event i don't know what that is and then there's gonna be hero fest for afira and all that good stuff looking at the warden skin this is uh, one of the og wardens back in the day if you remember seeing the trailer i think she looks amazing she has that cool leather um on her arms i wish it was full plate armor all the way through but you know i think i like this skin the skin looks better than uh the uh what do you call it the skin for uh, warden the male variant i, I prefer this skin over the the more flashy elvish style this is just like a very simple and clean look and i love it uh, the one thing that is super cool about it is that uh, she gets a really nice blade personally i don't like the guard but i like the handle and of course i like the clean set that she has for her plate armor it looks a little bit rustic it's not simple and clean like the chimera set but i would still rock this out honestly sometimes i feel like the female warden looks a bit weird with the proportions with the armor sets but i think this one looks so much better and the helmet i've been waiting for this type of helmet too kind of looks like an apollyon set but you know it definitely is a little bit different because it shows her face more my only wish is that i wish it was a blonde because you know blondes all the way baby what team are you guys brunettes blondes or black hair let me know baby okay now probably the biggest important thing from the stream is that warden is getting a rework or a buff he's getting a new move basically and this is going to change his team fight capabilities tremendously so as you can see here in this clip i noticed it is that after a shoulder bash you can either do a zone attack which is gonna cost like a lot of stamina and the hitbox is pretty good but it's not like amazing it's like your only you know defensive option when you're trying to 1v2 or team fight on live but in this version of this testing grounds he's getting a testing grounds you're gonna be able to do like a new zone attack that cleaves around and has hyper armor so you'll be able to trade with people once you land a bash and it's crazy i cannot believe they're actually reworking warden again like i i'm a warden man you guys know that right i love playing my boy warden uh, especially especially because i look freaking dripped out of my mind oh uh, my god i love dying as warden and while looking amazing with all that drip okay but seriously they gave him a new attack animation it's gonna help him out tremendously because he wasn't like the worst character in dominion he was pretty he's he's okay in like a team setting where you have people that confirm for you and whatnot because he has chain bashes a really good 1v1 chain bash which is unreactable very strong and good hitboxes on his normal heavies neutral heavies and his finisher heavy so they do a lot of damage and he has a, a pretty good roll catcher too so the fact that they gave him this trading tool and team fights while you're able to confirm guaranteed damage is pretty crazy man uh the things that go on through their heads when they are putting new moves into a character let's just hope they don't remove it like they did with peacekeepers bash okay so i'm really excited i'm sure all you warden mains are really stoked too i just hope that they give him like a parry punish which would be like a pommel strike or something with his hilt smash that'd be so awesome but you know here's me uh hoping up some copium baby the crazy thing is that they're actually adding a new canyon map which is specifically for the new event it's a one versus one versus one which is basically free for all something that the community has been asking for years it's just three players though for some reason i don't know why they didn't do four players because usually you know every uh, popular game would like uh tribute <laughs> Attribute. Eliminations, um, Skirmish, uh, Dominion, and Breach. It's four players, so I'm, I'm wondering why they didn't go with four players, you know, one versus um, three players, because if you see a hit to carry, a new rule that I'm going to be making is that if you see a hit to carry or a Fira, those characters, any of the scummy characters, 
you should just gank them right away. For some reason, there is revenge in this mode, so I think you will be able to coordinate some stuff if you actually hate a certain player that's on the other team. So that's something that I think they will they didn't really think about. It is only a limited to time mode. If they could make this into a real game mode that would stay forever, that would be sick. But as you can see here, it looks super fun for a little bit until it gets getting super toxic and you're wondering why you're getting freaking uh, emote spammed on by two players that are supposed to be fighting each other. So that's awesome. I'm sure you guys are all looking forward to it and it looks really shagged. So as you can see your Peacekeeper, on her previous testing grounds, she did get like a 700 MS batch, which is really slow, but they just outright removed it, okay guys? They made the new animation for her, and they just removed it, and the reason they said was because they wanted to keep her unique. So now instead of giving her a batch, the Dagger Cancel is now 366 down from 400 MS, so it's so much faster now. So this is really good for 1v1s. But uh, this is not good for 4v4 at all because there's no way to actually get pressure. You still have the same kit that you had before. And this is her buff or slash rework. The, the other stuff, as you can see, your pair window for Derek Hansen, now 166. Down from 2MS. Repost stab is not performed by pressing the light button. This just makes it easier for you to press the uh, follow-up attacks. The zone, these are just stamina cost stuff. Could have just been a hotfix. Deep gouge is the stabby stab. And that is easier to press stabs after Garbrex no longer requires strict time to reform. Same, it's just quality of life changes. And of course, the side opener and finisher heavies have better trajectories, slightly better hitboxes. Hopefully, it's as good as maybe a Fierce, because her weapon is very tiny, and yet she has so much forward momentum, whereas Peacekeeper kind of just stands still, so she ha has to get like a pretty decent sized hitbox. If not, then she's still going to be useless. So overall, she's just faster with her top light, and that's it. That That's, that's her rework. Okay guys, I have a lot to say about this. I don't want to put it all in this video because this is mostly just the um, the reaction or what happens in this uh, Warrior's Den. But in another video, I'll talk about why this is just a terrible change for everybody involved. And I don't know why she was even included in the test grounds if they're just going to half-ass her like Lover and Conquer. I I'm telling you, the, the Knights have really gotten a, a short end of the stick when it comes to reworks lately. Except for Warden because Warden is getting reworked. We'll talk about that soon. Majai, if you didn't watch my last video with him when the testing grounds, he basically has a new transitional attack. It's called the Nomad Swing. It comes out from the same side, 500 MS, and uh, you basically can go into your staff mode and axe for him while attacking. So it's really helpful. Good quality of life changes, and they are going to be nerfing his hyper armor on his chain a light, so you can't just spam that willy nilly. In team fights, he still gets to keep his hyper armor on his heavy attacks, which is nice. But you know, overall, this is a pretty decent buff and a very good nerf for the character of course in his axe form you are getting undodgeable finisher lights and i i wish that they would improve his dueling potential with his axe form because his axe form it actually quite is actually quite lackluster due to the hitboxes being so bad especially his finisher heavy if you're not going to improve the chain heavy ones at least improve the finisher ones because the finisher ones you can just dodge and it's it, it looks like it should track but you know it doesn't so that's the one thing that's bad about this rework in general but overall you know these are very good changes for Magi players. I think uh, we'll be eating good. It's going to be a less brain dead character, which is, you know, that's fantastic. Especially with uh, Varangian and all the full block characters and BP in them. And they've been getting like pretty decent buffs within this meta because of Magi's getting nerfed. So, you know, you can't really just spam your dodge attacks and uh, your wide hitbox attacks anymore with this character. And so that makes it so that the character requires a little bit more skill compared to the previous season. So these are really good changes overall. And I'm really happy about these changes. Okay, so there's a really big update for Hitstun that's coming out soon. Testing grounds, they will be fidgeting around with all of these number values. So as you can see here, uh, the characters that used to get all these pins or these very long animations where you're kind of stuck and have to eat a bunch of damage, they will be getting tweaks such as Shinobi's kick. And frankly, a lot of characters in here. It looks like we got Sh uh, the Shigoki's Demon Ball, his hug, Sh a Conqueror's running, a bash attack, Yormungandr, Hitakiri's sweep, um, Jane June's uh, kick, which does pin, and Janu's palm strike. Pirates, uh, Pistol Blast, and uh, Ocelotl. It's just a lot of characters. There's probably a few more characters who that have pins like Centurion and they weren't included. So I don't know what the deal is about that. So maybe they're just going to be testing it out and then they'll roll it out because Hitakiris and Centurions are probably, you know, about the same uh, type of uh, coding. So 
they're going to be changing that. So basically what they're going to be doing is they're going to make it so that you're not going to be taking so much damage easily. The pin resets will probably no longer be a thing or they will just be incredibly hard to perform according to the devs. I know this is very hard to visualize. Um, I wish they had recorded some gameplay for us to see, but at the end of the day, what this means is that it will be less frustrating when you are basically solo queuing and fighting against people who are just throwing heavies at you and you'll have a better chance of surviving and taking less damage and getting, you know, hit stunned over and over again. You're like, well, why can't I do anything? Well, this is what they're trying to fix and address in the next testing ground. So that's a good thing. This will buff good players and it will start nerfing bad players. But of course, you might have bad players on your team but that's where you have to shine and anti-gank install on your own point. Like I said, I think it's important to wait and see how this will affect the meta and, and how this will actually work in a real matchmaking game with feats and all that good stuff. This is a really big problem that they're going to be tackling and it only took 8 years for them to do so. Ooh, let's go. No, you're right. Ooh, these are some clean weapons. Holy moly. I like being right. Sorry. These are clean weapons. Oh my god. I think I'll get the battle pass this time. You know, I say it every single time, but these are some... This is clean, and I love clean shit. I love clean weapons. Clean buttholes. Clean. <laughs> Just kidding. Wait, what the heck? Oh, that's a... That's a law break. I did not know that was so small. That's so small. That's a really small Albert. I mean, that's that's very uh, above average. It's very above average Albert. From my experience. Very small above average shaft. I no hate. No hate boys. I I I miss said the wrong words, said the wrong adjectives. Just forgive me. Cancel soul. Hashtag soul is over party. I like the axes. Love that sword. Almonds is pretty clean, but it's kind of meh. Yorms is it's pretty clean. I like it. Ugh. Badge, guys. Gross. Doesn't deserve anything. It deserves nothing. Valkyries is very clean. I love the shield. I already had this weapon right here. This weapon is gold, but you know, this is one of my favorite um, headpieces for her. For her blades. And Warlords is pretty clean too. Nothing special though. Uh, but it's simple and clean, I like that. I mean, that's a true guy person, 100%. <clears throat> you know what they say. You know what they say. The, a little, the above average is better. I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying. They're very clean though, I like it. It's the Orochis. The above, the above average, the better. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that's a good looking axe. Very clean. Oh, how's the music, guys? Is it too loud? Oh, that's a clean looking uh, Kyoshin one. I love it. I'm gonna use that one. I want that scabbard. I wish it's kind of meh. Yuki's stick looks so small. <laughs> I don't know why. That must be his default one. Oh my god, that Tiani one is insane! That is the cleanest freaking sword ever! That's a rod. <laughs> yes, it is. That freaking Dao was amazing. Nisha's is pretty nice, too. And JJ's always looks good, no matter what. He always has clean looking blades, glaives. Yes. Jen Hughes. I don't really like Jen Hughes, to be honest. There's too much white there. Way too much white. You know, I love white, okay? I love white, but sometimes there's just too much of it. it needs to be. Th you see that sword right there? It needs, to, it needs to be thinner. It needs to be thinner. More grooves, more design, more floral patterns. The giant one is clean AF. I want the stick. The shaft? The, sh the shaft, they're making it like, um, like metal. It looks super cool. Spiras, I mean, she has a nice head. She'd be better with, she'd be better with the head off her body. You know what I'm saying, guys? I think 
she would look better with uh, her head on a spike. <laughs> oh my god, that's terrible. I think I'll buy the Lego Seal. Oh my god. Whoa! This is a good looking sword. And guard. The hilt's. Oh, I mean, the, I mean, the guard's okay. The hilt is insane. Oh my god, this is clean AF. It's cleaner than the last one. Look at all these engravings. Oh my god, I have to get it. I have to spend nine bucks on this. Or seven bucks. Okay, what the fuck is this? <laughs> Just freaking self advertise yourself. Black Friar on his freaking shield. <laughs> that looks so goofy. So goofy, I have to get that. Holy shit, look at this sword. This Warmonger sword. This Griffin Blade is insane. This Halberd is insane. Dude, I'm freaking out. I'm losing my sh I'm losing my mind here. That is the best Conquer Shield. I like how they zoom into it too. That is sick. Oh my god, this is this is this is nine bucks worth of content, baby. Nine bucks worth of content right here. Let's see if the Raider one gets anything stylish. I mean, that's not bad, honestly. That's honestly not bad. I think I'm gonna buy it. Like, 100%, no cap. I will. I'm gonna buy it. Zerker's is pretty mid. I'm not gonna lie to you, but. Nobody likes her. Um, that's pretty mid for a Highlander, I'm not gonna lie. Clean. That Shaman one, oh my goodness. I love how they made this all engraved, like very dark. It really pops out. German Gunners, have we already seen that one? That, that looks like his other one. This is insane! I hate her though. <laughs> She's so brain dead. Great weapon, fantastic Valkyrie. And uh, Warlord advertising himself. So oh, it's actually Gutman Gunder, but um, very good uh, looking shield. I think all the sh are the shields just gonna have like self painted on there. Like there's some real estate agent. Good looking uh, samurai sword right there for uh, the Nodachi katana. Very cool, very cool. Katana uh, for Orochi looks pretty sick too. The weebs are winning, boys. I think the Knight Faction won. Knife Action 1. I mean, they are getting their armor variations, so that makes sense. Armouche is right there. It's kind of looks like a variations of his other one. He has, like, a, another variations of orange and purple. But this looks really... It looks better, in my opinion, because the other ones you can't change the color of. This is sick. Right here. I love engravings. Especially the dark ones. They need to do more of them. The ocean one? Fantastic. Oh my god, this Nobushi was ridiculous! This looks so fantasy! That looks fantasy-esque. Where'd the realism go? Not my for honor, guys. Not my for honor. Gugmagundur. Oh my goodness, guys. Honestly, this DAO is not as good as uh, the free battle pass one, in my honest opinion. But it looks, it still looks really good. It's definitely a mid drip for uh, for Tiandi. <laughs> what is this, bro? You can use this for fighting. You can take this home. You can do whatever the hell you want with it. They don't care. Your staff. <laughs> More like a freaking dildo. <laughs> Holy shit. Alright, this show is mid. Fun use is pretty good. Pretty solid. Uh, the dragon is a little bit overused though, in my opinion. The Zhenhu one? Freaking fire, dude. Actually fire. So good. Yeah, that dildo is supposed to be for Shaolin. Oh my god. Yeah, that's a pretty good looking sword. I like the gun though, because it's clean as hell. The Magi's is clean. Bruh. Dude, this battle pass was made for me. It is super clean. All of it. You guys know I love engravings. Yeah, I'm not a lie. I hate it for your I love her fashion though. This is freaking top tier. Top tier shit. Yeah, well, we should just give a pirate a Glock. Ocelot on it's not even wood anymore. It's just like pure steel, baby. It's pure nano machine, son. <laughs> oh my god, Ocelot just like just give up his culture and just use nano machines. 